into our layout book, I want to create a new folder. We'll call that a subset. And I'll make these the 3D base, just like the saved views were called. I'll just create five of them. Base 3D hatch. 3D shadow people and color. Now all I need to do is load one of these new 3D base. Now scale is very, very important, but as long as it's relative, that's all that matters. In a 3D drawing, scale means nothing. We need these proportions to be the same, and proportion is very important, but as long as they're the same, it doesn't matter what that actual proportion is. So what I'm going to do is to stretch this box using my scale option which is what I'd normally say never ever do in the layout book, but it's okay for a drawing like this. If I go into the settings, you'll understand what I mean. So if we go into the settings, I've now changed it to a, a stupid scale of 1 to 66, so a magnification of 149, which is dumb. Uh, but it's fine because it's a 3D drawing, and so as long as they're exactly the same, it'll work fine for us. So I'm now going to copy this saved view onto each of these layouts, and then effectively update each one. Now pasting them doesn't necessarily change them, it doesn't change them at all. What I need to do in order them to be varied is to link it to the different save view. So I'm going to go back into each one, right click link drawing to, and link it to its name that's appropriate. So again the naming is just for my benefit, but it really helps me to be able to identify what I'm trying to find. If I didn't rename them, it would make it much more fiddly to find the right drawing. Last one, color. Now all we need to do is to be able to output these. I like using the organizer. I have a PDF folder here. I can use this one if I want to. I could have a subset folder if I wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Let's just drag and drop these across. Where's that going? Let's make sure it's saved onto. I want to create a flat file structure and I'll create it onto the desktop. Let's export these, publish. So this is going to create five different PDFs which are five different effectively drawings and we'll import all of these into Photoshop and create them as layers. There we go, PDFs. In the next video we'll have a look at how to import these into Photoshop.